Hey guys, we're back with the Odin 223 Wild Barrel. It's got an 18-inch DMR profile, if I remember correctly. I'm kind of hustling through this. If you can't tell, I'm already running my mouth real quick because I don't have much life left on the SD, or no, <laughs> I have very limited space on the SD card. There's not many, um, not much room left, so I kind of have to hurry. It's also not very much daylight left, but we're running IMR 8208 XBR powder in all of these loads. We got three different bullets and three different kinds of primers trying to figure out a load for coyote hunting. Um, I just wanted to do a little bit more testing before I settled down on a final load because I think I already know what I'm gonna shoot. But the 53 grain VMAX is using 25.6 grains of IMR at AD 208 XBR. Uh, we're using Federal AR match primers on the first load, which I already shot the first load here. Remington seven and a half small rifle primers, uh, the bench rest primers, and then CCI 450 Magnums. Now the 55 grain Blitz King, we're using 25.3 grains of powder. And on the 60 grain burger varmint flat base, we're using 24 and a half. <laughs> I am really trying to hustle here. So anyway, that's what we're shooting. Already shot the first group, make sure everything would go okay. Couldn't get velocities because the chronograph was being a turd again. So we're not getting velocities, we're just shooting for groups. I'm gonna fly through this. Barrel's probably gonna get a little warm, but it's cold, so I'm not too worried about it. But we're gonna go ahead and shoot the second group. These are using the Remington seven and a half bench rest small rifle primers. And it's Lapua brass. I don't know if I mentioned that. 223 brass. Had a malfunction. Um, brass catcher actually kind of screwed things up for us a little bit there. So this next shot might be a little funky. <sighs> Need to get things situated a little better here. Dang it. Same thing again. Well, I don't know how that would have went if we'd have had uh, the brass ejecting correctly, but it looked like a few of those were trying to group. So, that was with the Remington 7.5 uh, small rifle bench rest primers. The next one we're going to be shooting is the CCI 450s, the small rifle magnum primers. And I can't find my fifth piece of brass anywhere. There it is. Alright. On to the CCIs. Still shooting the same bullet. Lapua. 223 brass, small rifle primer, obviously. All right. All right, so I'm curious to try these next bullets here because I haven't tried these bullets since I switched powder which the IMR 8208 XBR has been doing a lot better than some of the other um, stuff that we had tried been a little more consistent so we're running the 55 grain Sierra Blitz King with the same powder but a different charge I think these were 25.3 and first up is the Federal AR Match Small Rifle Primer. Well, that one opened up. Holy crap. Looking good for, for a minute. All right, this next group is gonna be with the uh, <clears throat> Remington Ventress small rifle seven and a half primers.
consistently getting a few shots that look pretty good and then some that don't. You know, that's how it seems to go anymore. <laughs> you get some that, that just look great and then the freaking pattern opens up like real bad. I'm gonna give the gun a break. I'm gonna hope that I don't run out of memory card here. So the suppressor is actually coming loose on the gun, but I'm not gonna hang it all up on that. Um, I was still kind of expecting better groups, but I will say that the brass um, kind of getting chewed up in the process of this brass catcher getting in the way. I just, I wanna make sure I can find all this stuff because the brass is expensive. Um, it, I'm expecting it to shoot better. So um, I've got four more groups left. This one's gonna be with the 55 grain Sierra Blitz King with IMR 8208 XBR and the CCI 450 small rifle Magnum primers. And the last three are gonna be with the Burger 60 grain flat base bar bullets. kind of not having weird flyers it was centered everything was kind of around the same epicenter so <laughs> even though the group wasn't all that great at least it wasn't like weirdly stringing off just to one side getting odd flyers I keep having a hard time getting these things to come out of there so I'm actually gonna go hand check the suppressor real quick make sure it's still tight before I shoot the next couple groups just to kind of verify that because I don't know that that would make all that much of a difference if it I mean you know barely breaks loose because it's still got plenty of threads to hang on to but you never know suppressor's still solid locked up good 60 grain burger flat base varmint bullets with the federal AR style small rifle match primers Trying to get a good group going, but can't get anything to be perfect today. Of course, if they were perfect, they'd all be in the same hole. I was really wanting to get velocities. That was one of the main things I was trying to do today was see where the, the SDs were at with these different primers, but that kind of went out the window as soon as I started shooting because I couldn't get the chronograph to pick up for nothing. Just one of those days. All right, next is the Remington seven and a half small rifle bench rest primers. A dead trigger, more brass issues. Well, that group was terrible. I just don't know that this gun likes these bullets because I've tried these bullets a number of other times and I, I haven't been able to get them to shoot great with anything really I I've been able to get those V maxes to shoot good with a few different powders and stuff but these burgers I love burger bullets but this just ain't floating the boat here for this gun but we got one group left these are gonna have the CCI 450s I really want to let the gun cool down a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I got like three minutes left on my camera. So, or in terms of uh, SD card space. So these are going to have the CCIs in it and we're going to hope to end on a, a decent group, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Ah, come on. That's that's my life. All right, so basically had four touching, and then we had to screw it up. <laughs> so um, at least that gives me hope that these these bullets might be able to shoot in this gun. That's encouraging. Um, 
I don't know, this is a weird deal. Um, none of this really shot the way I expected it to. I just busted my butt all day doing brass prep on a, a bunch of 223 brass to try to get all this stuff ready for coyote loads because I want them to be just as consistent as, as anything else I'm shooting. But none of this stuff necessarily impressed me. And actually, for the most part, I was pretty disappointed. Given I was rushing, I didn't really give the gun time to cool down. Um, I was not pacing myself the way I would normally like to, but we still got some work to do. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you very much, as usual. Um, do all the, the YouTube stuff if you like the channel. Feel free to subscribe. Definitely turn on notifications because I've noticed a lot of people are actually getting their notifications turned off even after they, you know, click the bell and all that stuff. So um, if you are already a subscriber, please take the time to check that and make sure that it's still clicked or, you know, whatever highlighted that you're getting notifications because otherwise I, I really don't have a whole lot of avenues to get.